I was tired and he was down a million dollars and I just felt like, it felt like everything was going very, very badly and I just wanted to be home, you know? Got a ride. I gotta pick up Farrah Galfon. Farrah is the best. I mean, we're talking about an actress, a poker player. She is oozing personality. We're gonna pick her up, take her to the World Series. What are we playing today, by the way? What do you mean playing? Oh yeah, oh yeah, poker. Poker, yes. Uh, I thought you wanted to play some music. I was like, I don't know. I can play music. I mean, if we want, we can do karaoke or something. No, thank you. You don't want that. Um, I, I love that. I don't want that. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm like the worst singer in the world. Are you? Yeah, pretty bad. So, no, I'm playing a 2K No Limit. 2K No Limit, okay. Yeah. So, and we're slightly late registering? Yeah, which is, you know, normal. How's your tournament game these days? Um, I played a lot this year, so... Um, I've tweeted a little bit about it. Uh, I follow you. Yeah, I woke up January 1st, basically, and decided I wanted to be an MTT pro for at least one year, so I'm just... How's that I, going? I'm up. You're up, that's... Okay. I'm up, so... So you're like in the top 3%, then. <laughs> I'm up. Um, it's really hard to yeah, be up in MTTs. Yeah, you brick, 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 and then you have one good score, and then you recoup. And then you brick, 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 and I'm in, the, I'm in the bricking mode right now, so I'm ready for that. Did you get coaching for MTT? I mean, is it is it Phil? Is it somebody else? Can Phil coach you? He doesn't really coach me. I'll ask him questions, or you know, I'll come home and have like one, talk about a spot that I wasn't sure about or whatever. But I mean, do you guys have the kind of relationship where he could coach you though? Because I know if I tried to coach my yeah. wife, my wife would stab me. I mean, he would probably say. No, but I say yes. So like, I mean, he's taught me everything I know. I mean, I also like learn by trial and error. That's how I've always learned um, in anything I'm trying to get good at. Mm. How did you get into poker in the first place? Um, so when I lived in New York from 07 to 2011 or 2012, something, I didn't know anyone when I moved to New York. I, uh, some of the cast and crew played poker. Uh, they had home games like in, the, in their apartments. Um, so I got invited and I was just, you know, trying to make friends. And um, so I went and I, I mean, I knew poker hands. Like my dad had taught me five card draw when I was a kid. And I remembered like what beats what, but I didn't like, I didn't know what the betting, how the betting worked. And, but like after my first night, I was like, oh God, this is so much fun. So I got really hooked on it pretty quickly. And I started watching it on TV. I made poker stars account. And then I started going to Atlantic city on the weekends and I would play in tournaments there at Borgata. Fair enough. Uh, let's go back to acting. Okay. So you're a, a child actor. Yeah. You I don't recommend it. It's you don't good. recommend it, okay. It's not good. Not good, why, um, what did it do? I just think um, when you're a kid working in a grown-ups world, uh, it's just, I just don't like that. Um, I just think kids need to be kids and let their brains develop in the way that they're naturally supposed to. Um, I, I was put in a lot of like adult situations that I didn't need to be in at that age, but it just came with the territory and you know, I'm grateful for all the success I had and everything. But now that I'm a mom, I look at it differently. Um, you wouldn't? I would not let my son. <laughs> what if he came to you and said, mom, I want to be like you, I want to be an actor. I would let him do like local theater and all that kind of stuff where it's a safe environment. Um, but like Hollywood, no, like he has to be an adult and he can go do that on his own when he's an adult. Obviously, I commentated on Phil's Galfon Challenge, yeah. where he could literally win or lose a million dollars. Yeah. In fact, he was down a million dollars yeah. before coming back against Vinny Vitti, one of the most amazing <laughs> online, <Yeah. laughs> no hole cards, COVID. It was perfect for COVID. Yeah, it was. You watched, and I was so, I love doing it, and I also loved watching you be a part of that and how much you supported your husband. In fact, I would, go to my wife and I would be like, hey, why don't you support me like Farrakh supports Phil? But it was really cool to watch you support him. 
I would hope he would do the same for me. He probably wouldn't be as outwardly animated as I am, but I'm way more nervous when he plays and vice versa. Like, I'm, I'm not nervous when I go play, but, like, if he knows I'm deep in a tournament, he's constantly right. texting me, and um, he can't sleep until he knows, like, w w where I've ended up. And when you love someone, like, you feel, like, their triumphs and their losses, you feel it maybe sometimes more than they do themselves, so. And we, and we saw that. Listen, it was a crazy time. Um, we're not in our home. We're in this small apartment. Right, you're up in Vancouver at this point, yeah, right? Yeah, and um, Phil was working sun up to sundown, and like my mental game was like a little bit wobbly, um, just with no help with my baby, and um, I was tired, and he was down a million dollars, and I just felt like it felt like everything was going very, very badly, and I just wanted to be home, you know. So when, I mean, you couldn't have written the way that that all went down. I mean, it was just insane how i mean it came down to like oh my goodness no and, and was, it was a really really cool i still remember the day so, that he went in the green yeah and i was announcing it and i'm like galf on this in the green oh. you were on like i don't know instagram stories or whatever you were filming yourself and you went to tears yes, and i get yeah. it i mean in the middle of covid we're all kind of everything's frayed and we're it all just trying so to get emotional by. for me not just because of the money okay so like he kept losing 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 I didn't even know what to say to him anymore. Like, there's only so many words of encouragement you can give to someone, and then, at the and then it's just like I don't even know what to say anymore. And I just felt so badly for him. But I completely, he completely had my full support when he wanted to keep going. Absolutely. Okay, getting back to poker. Yeah. Do you love it still? I do love it, yeah. What is it about it that you love? It's just you never know what you're gonna look down at. And I just think like it's exhilarating. It, that, the exhilaration never ceases. Like if you look, when you look down at two aces or two kings or, um, it's just it's just always exciting and every, you know, every hand is different and everything's so complex and it's just never boring. I mean, it can't, of course it can be boring if your card dead and you're 10 handed and blah, blah, blah. But for the most part... Um, like you're going right now and you're excited because you don't know what's going to happen. Right, exactly. Like maybe this is the day I win a bracelet. Yeah, maybe it is. You know, right? Maybe you get a six figures pay, right, payday. And right, that's why we all do it. Because you right. never know. Farah? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. You are here. I'm feeling good. I think like this, this could be your time. This could be it. This could be your time. Well, I haven't bagged yet this summer. So if the bag comes tonight, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dedicate it to you.